What's up, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Faye. How are you guys? I hope that you guys are all blessed and that your families have been blessed since the last time that we spoke. So guess what? Today is September 29th, and by the time you guys see this video, it'll be the 30th, and it will be my nap anniversary. I am so excited. It has been a year since I chopped off my perm ends and started this whole journey full-fledged. Not only did I chop off my ends a year ago, I also wore my hair natural to work um, fully. Like, no more wigs, no more anything. So, I am super, super excited about that. So, I'm just coming here real quick to tell you guys that I'm so happy. We're going to add some pictures of my journey at the end of this, um, but I'm just coming by real quick to do a length check with you guys. Um, as you guys saw the other day, I got soaked in the rain, so I'm not washing my hair tonight because I feel a cold coming on. So I'm just going to show you guys my progress for the past year that I'm so excited about. Um, thank you, by the way, to everyone who has come by. It's like... Give me compliments on my hair, and even when I'm not talking about my so hair, it's it's very good. You know, I I like it. Um, I've had a good year. You know what I mean? I will not sit here and say that I've been the, I've done the best that I could with my hair, but I think I'm on the right path now, a better path now, and I'll talk to you guys that about that a little bit. So no way. So today I wore my hair in a puff. It's been that way. I had a braid out, and then the rain happened. So it's been in a puff um, that I twist every night, just big twist, um, going back. So I'll take it down for you guys and unleash the madness to, so, to show y'all. But this is my hair um, out and about. My hair doesn't really do any, um, it doesn't lay down. It stands straight up. Like you see the top here? Yeah, it, even if I don't comb it down, even if I don't do that, it ends up going up when the moisture or humidity gets into it. So, if I don't wear it in a puff, it'll look like this. Sometimes it's a little crazier than this. This is much, much um, more managed. So, last year, you guys, over the last year, you guys saw that I did a trim and I did a length check. Um, I didn't tell you guys, but I also went back and did another little mini trim on my ends because my ends were horrible. I was experiencing like fairy knots and I just didn't like the way the ends were. So I cut off about half an inch and, and I did it all around. So, you know, there are parts of my hair, of course, that are longer than others, but I just cut off the ends just so I could have like a fresh start. Um, and that's it. So I'll show you guys, you know, the back just so we can get an idea of what my length is. And I'll have to go on my tippy toes because I did the camera. Oh, let me take this off. Had to do big earrings today because um, of the puff. But I'll show you guys real quick. Try to comb it out a little bit. I'll show you guys real quick what um, my length is right now in the back. In the back, we're about right here. This is the bottom left side of my head, and I'm on my tippy toes. Um, so, you see my armpit? You see where it is. Um, it's almost down to APL. It's not quite there yet. Um, so, that's the back. The front, this has gel in it, so I'm not sure how much of a stretch I'm going to be able to get. The front is about right there. Okay. I remember I said I cut. Ooh. Sorry. The middle. The middle is my trouble spot. So it's about as long as the front. Over the next year, I'm going to be starting my protective style journey. Um, and what I plan on doing, nothing but protective styles. So that means I'm going to be braiding, doing sew-ins, incorporating wigs back into it to keep it protected. But pretty much, um, this will be my last 
wash and well it's, this wasn't a wash and go this was a braid out but I'm not going to be doing as much puffs as I've been. My edges have been fine. Like, they've survived me putting it back into a ponytail or, or putting it back every day, just about. But I want to stop that because I think that had I had been a little bit more proactive with my protective styles, um, I would have been a lot further. And that's my opinion. Um, that's just how I feel like my hair would have grown a lot better, been a lot healthier. It's okay now, but my trouble spot, I really want to focus on this time, so that's it. So I'm going to be doing another video talking about, um, not, not today, but soon I'll be telling you guys what my regimen is for the winter. But the number one thing that I'm going to be doing over the next six months, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, seven, eight months, is protective styles whether it be sew-ins wigs um braids with my natural hair whatever so i'm dying to do mini twists i haven't tried it yet but as you guys see i have a lot of hair so i'm a little apprehensive about doing the mini twist um usually when i do twist in my hair they're usually you know for a braid out they're usually about this big that's usually a good length, a good, you know, for me to get it full, but, you know, or they're like in eight, you know, maybe 12, uh, Sealy braids, so that's it, you know, that's as big as I go, but I do want to try the mini twist just for a little while to see how I like it, so, anyways, yes, I'm super excited, and I hope you guys will stay along with me for, um, the next year of my journey but I'm definitely gonna be bringing you guys more as far as protective styling goes and stay tuned for my video on my um, my regimen my my fall regimen so take care I will see you guys soon enjoy the pictures bye oh well, yeah do y'all notice anything different huh huh I'll wait. Yes, I finally am showing you guys my hair. Je n'ai qu'à me casser, je ne peux pas dire ça pour aller passer. Je ne joue pas à ça.